Aloha, welcome to the training video for the Coral Reef Alliance and our at-home planting kits. First and foremost, I want to thank all of our volunteers, everybody that's come up to our restoration sites with us, for all you wonderful people that have signed up to grow these plants at, for us at your homes, and for all of our future volunteers. We really couldn't do this work without you. In this video, we're going to be covering how to prepare your seeds and plant them, and we'll have follow-up videos for transplanting and maintaining your seedlings. All of the plants that you guys will be growing for us in your homes will be used in Wahi Kuli, which is a priority watershed. And we're working in this area to really help ensure that we trap the sediment on the land, stop it from re reaching our rivers and impacting our streams and rivers, as well as our coral reefs downstream. And ultimately, by holding this sediment on the land, we can reduce the number of groundwater events that we have and the amount of sediment that's smothering our coral reefs. So these little plants that you guys are growing for us are really gonna help to restore three of Maui's ecosystems, our dryland forests, our streams, and our coral reefs. And I really can't thank you guys enough for all of the hard work that you guys are putting into this. And I really am excited to get out into the field with you guys where you guys can plant these little seeds that you grew and these beautiful little plants can help restore the dryland forest in that area. Now we're going to talk about seed preparation. Fortunately, most of these seeds have already been processed and will require very little work. However, today we are going to go over the preparation techniques used for Aali'i, Kavelu, Kamani, Ma'o, Pili, and Ukiuki. Aali'i is a very simple seed to process. To process all of your seeds at once, find a very fine strainer and crush the seeds in the strainer, or you can simply crush the papery husk over the container you'll be planting in. Kamani seeds are a little bit more difficult to process. They have that hard husk on the outside. So if you can carefully remove the seed, great. If you're unable to, that's okay as well. Nora will walk you through this. Kavelu is a very simple grass to plant. You just need to plant it. Just try to make sure that you're only getting a few seeds into each of the containers. Peely seeds grow into quite the tangled mess. Native Nursery has been kind enough to process these seeds for us, so you can go ahead and just plant the seeds that you've been sent. Ma'o, or the Hawaiian cotton, is a fuzzy seed that can be soaked overnight or planted directly. Ukiuki is another native plant we'll be planting. Luckily, the seeds we've sent you guys are already cleaned up. You can either soak them in a mesh bag, changing the water for about a week, or you can go ahead and plant the ones that we've sent you. Now that we've gone over how to prepare our seeds, it's time to plant. Nora is now going to show us how to plant the various seeds we've sent you in the kits. Aloha. Welcome to the Coral Reef Alliance training video for planting native Hawaiian plants. We're gonna go over a few of the types of seeds that are going out in our volunteer planting kits. And uh, I'll start with preparing the soil. Now I've got two different size uh, containers here of the two inch pots. Uh, some of them are for trees and larger plants uh, like the ma'o and these will be for the grasses and the aali. So today, when we um, show you exactly how to fill the pot, and dampen the soil, these are the seeds that we're going to be planting today. We've got aali seeds that have been gathered. They've been refrigerated a bit to help them with their germination. Uh, this is Kavali grass and We've got the peely grass here in its little familiar rat's nest that most of you have, have seen out in the field with us. And we have the ma'o seeds just harvested and our tree seeds are right over here. I'll show you how to process them when we get to them later on. Now first we're going to do the a'ali. Uh, 
it's the easiest one. Now these, if they're stored, they have to be stored in the refrigerator. Each one of the seed packets is going to have, I got a little peely seed sneaking in here. They sneak in everywhere. This one, you break it open and you'll see that there are two wee seeds inside. Each one will have two to three seeds. And we're gonna just put them right into here, right on top there. And just stir it around a little bit. They don't need to be buried that deep. And we'll leave the seed shell there so we know that this one has been planted. We've got two in there. And we've got two into this one. And the last one here we'll do, make sure they're in there. There they go. One and two. And we'll give them a little stir. There we go. Okay. Now the next row, we're going to do a bit of the peely grass. Now this can take as much as eight, sometimes 10 months to just get ready to plant. And these are the seeds right here. We'll soak the, uh, the seeds after we remove them from their, uh, their stalk. I'll put these in. We'll put two in each one. And uh, I got two in this one. Well, this one's got two as well, but I'm gonna put one more in there just so we can see how they detach. There's your peely right there, and the seeds right on top there. It just comes right off. Okay. Well, next is uh, the razor grass. And these may be separated for you to keep track. And we just wanna put three or four of the seeds into each one of these containers here. Very easy to separate if they do come in a stock, but, but we'll try to separate them for you to get a better control of the seeds where. Going to have available for everyone. There we go. Now all our grasses are done there. I'm gonna add a bit of water to um these you wanna keep. Moist and draining. Just keep an eye on them, depending on the heat. Okay, now we're ready to do our mo and our trees. They're going to require a, a deeper amount of soil to grow in and mature their roots and they're also going to require a bit more soil to cover up that seed so it may germinate. Now all of these had to soak for quite some time to really get them ready to germinate. Okay now I'm going to wet these one more time just to uh, make sure we've got some moist soil to open up the seed and encourage it to come out and be a successful tree for us. Okay, now with your finger, Going about 
two centimeters, about, a, about an inch. To make our little hole. And we're gonna cover that up too, so it's gonna get plenty of, uh, plenty of coverage to grow. And we'll take our mo'o. We'll just do one. Just drop it in there. There we go. There we go. And we're just gonna cover these up a bit. Okay. And that's our ma'o, a Hawaiian cotton. And next is our kamane. Now this forms a little shell that can break apart to reveal the, the seed underneath it. Get the crack open this. You can use a pair of pliers or just be diligent with your fingernails. It doesn't even break through my latex gloves here. There we go, We're almost there. Now this will take weeks off of the germination. Okay, now. We made our little indentions when we pre-moisten the soil for the trees. And we just drop it right in there. Okay. Alright. And this one will plant the whole seed. And we can see the difference in time. It's going to be weeks quicker with the uh, pre-shelled seed carcass though. Okay, I'll cover it up with a little bit of dirt here. Excellent. All right, and then we're ready for data collection, the funnest part for everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and we'll have more videos. I promise they'll only get better. Thanks again. Aloha. Aloha everybody, and thank you so much for helping out with Coral Reef Alliance's Native Plant Project. For this project, we just need you to keep track of a couple different things. So in your native planting kit, there's going to be a data sheet provided to you. I just need you to keep track of all the different hours that you spend taking care of your plants and the survivability of those plants. So if we give you 50 plants, only 40 survive, just make a note of that on your data sheet. Thank you so much for helping us with this project and happy planting. Aloha everyone, my name is Larissa and I'm the program coordinator for Coral Reef Alliance. Times are very different right now, so we're all trying to find ways to help out. So we really appreciate you guys signing up and helping us with our planting kit at home. So very much appreciated. I also wanted to say thank you to Maui Botanical Gardens. They donated pretty much uh, most of the seeds that you guys will be raising. So these plants will then be outplanted at our restoration site. So you guys will be helping on so many different levels, trapping sediment on land instead of going out to the ocean and helping us to save money as well. Uh, we look forward to when things start opening up. Until then, please stay safe and healthy. Your health is number one priority for sure. But once we do start opening up, we are really looking forward to having our in-field volunteer planting days. So look out for that. Um, uh, also, don't forget to like or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Coral Reef Alliance. And you can also share your plants and how they've been doing. I know people will be a lot of, uh, very excited to see that. So stay safe. Um, stay tuned for more videos as well. We'd like to share the progress of our site and how we're doing. Um, and thank you again so much. This is just one way that we can show that working together uh, makes a huge impact when we're trying to save our coral reefs. Aloha.